à tous. Welcome to this new episode of the French Blabla podcast, the only place on the web to speak French like a native. And I'm happy to tell you that this is a special episode and it was created with our friends at takelessons.com. Moi, c'est Caroline, and before we start, I'd like to share with you this quote from the French novelist Eric Orsena. Subjunctive is the mood of doubt and hope. It's the mood of love. If you're my student, you know that subjunctive has a special place in my heart and that I love to teach it. However, I don't know what it is with this little word that makes my students crumble. The simple evocation of this mood causes panic even to the bravest French learner. So today, our goal with TakeLessons.com is to demystify it and to give you tips to use it better or simply not to use it at all if you wish. You already know that French people love their subjunctive. We use it all the time in several situations to express feelings, uncertainty and our opinion. I have a little question for you. What expressions do you know to express your opinion? Okay, I hope you found that we have je pense que, je trouve que, or je crois que, for example. These expressions are usually followed by the indicative mood, but, spoiler alert, if you turn je pense into je ne pense pas, then, oh my, I'm sorry to tell you that you have to use the subjunctive. For example, je pense qu'il viendra, je pense qu'il viendra, I think he will come, will turn into je ne pense pas qu'il vienne. Je ne pense pas qu'il vienne. I don't think he will come. The headache starts. Yes, a simple negation can turn your sentence upside down. If you feel lazy or just simply overwhelmed, here's a tip. Why not putting the negation in the second part of the sentence? If you do that, you keep the meaning while avoiding the pain of conjugated with subjunctive. Let's take our previous example. Je pense qu'il viendra. Let's apply our little trick. Je pense qu'il ne viendra pas. Je pense qu'il ne viendra pas. Or even more natural, je pense qu'il viendra pas. Je pense qu'il viendra pas. Ditch the first part of the negation to speak like a native. And voila, same meaning without the hassle. The negation is in the second part so that je pense stays affirmative. Another example. Je trouve pas qu'il fasse froid. Je trouve pas qu'il fasse froid. I don't think it's cold. We'll turn into the easier. Je trouve qu'il fait pas froid. Je trouve qu'il fait pas froid. Let's talk now about the gazillion impersonal phrases that we have that could potentially be a source of subjunctive. I'm sure you've learned some of them. For example, il est important que. It's important that. Il est nécessaire que. It's necessary to. Il faut que, one must, you must, and the list goes on. They all start with il, but who is this il, by the way? Well, it's nobody. It could be translated by the good old English, it. All these phrases require the subjunctive. And we don't really want it, do we? Here's my tip. Swap all the que in the phrases by de. For example... Il est important que will become il est important de. And what do we put after de? Yes, the infinitive, the easiest form in the whole French language. However, I need to warn you that by doing so, you will change the meaning of your sentence. Using de will turn your sentence into a general truth. If you say, il est important que tu manges des légumes, Il est important que tu manges des légumes. You're targeting somebody's bad habit of not eating veggies. If you swap the que for de, you will get Il est important de manger des légumes. Il est important de manger des légumes. Meaning, it's important for health to eat veggies. With de, you can't target anybody. Now, here's my third tip if you still want to use the impersonal phrases and target somebody at the same time. Make two sentences. 
Let's take our previous veggie example. We could say, il est important de manger des légumes. Tu devrais le faire. Il est important de manger des légumes. Tu devrais le faire. It's important to eat veggies. You should do it. Adding a, tu devrais le faire, you should do it, allows you to give a piece of your mind to your friend. I have to admit that I'm still not completely pleased with these impersonal phrases because they don't sound the way I would say them. And you know that it's paramount to me that you don't sound like a book when you speak. The problem in these sentences is this il that we don't use in daily life. Nope, we use se instead. Phrases like il est important de will turn into c'est important de. C'est important de. Il est nécessaire que will be c'est nécessaire que. C'est nécessaire que. Be careful, it doesn't work for il faut que. This phrase always uses il. So next time you want to use an impersonal sentence, remember to start with se, then use de plus infinitive, and finally you can add a second sentence to add more details. Ah, oh, I feel like adding a little bonus, but it's maybe too much. Okay, let's do it. If you want to sound extra French, throw in a little super or vraiment to emphasize your impersonal phrase. For example, c'est super important d'aller chez Marc ce soir. C'est super important d'aller chez Marc ce soir. It's super important we go to Marc tonight. Or, c'est vraiment nécessaire d'écouter le podcast de Caroline. C'est vraiment nécessaire d'écouter le podcast de Caroline. It's really necessary to listen to Caroline's podcast. My last tip for this special episode is about expressing possibility. We have two expressions to say that Il est possible que Il est possible que It's possible that And Il est probable que Il est probable que It's probable that The first one uses the subjunctive while the other one uses the indicative mood. However, Il est probable que isn't an expression we use a lot. It doesn't sound that natural. We are unfortunately left with the one that uses the subjunctive. We already have the previous tricks to get rid of it. We will say, c'est possible de. C'est possible de. That completely works, but here's another way. There's a similar phrase that we can use, and it is, peut-être que. Peut-être que. Maybe that. Of course, you use the indicative after the que. For example, let's take C'est possible qu'il vienne. It's possible he will come. And let's use our new expression with it. It will become Peut-être qu'il viendra. Peut-être qu'il viendra. Maybe he will come. Here's another example. C'est possible qu'il fasse froid. C'est possible qu'il fasse froid. It's possible it will be cold. It will be peut-être qu'il fait fera froid. Icing on the cake, it sounds completely natural. That's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it and that you will use the tips we gave you. I'd like to give a shout out to our listener, Martina, for commenting on the fourth episode. Thank you so much, Martina. It's great to read your anecdote. I love to hear your stories, so please share your struggles with the French tenses in the comment section. Which tense is the worst for you? Which phrases would you like to know how to use better? Je suis Caroline, et à très bientôt pour un nouvel épisode. Pour un nouvel épisode.